Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Nothing exciting really this week to report, so there hasn't been too many videos. The locks I'm working on today are basically filing cabinet locks or uh, mailbox locks or locker locks. This, this is the LNF cam lock here and what we're doing in this particular one is a customer's ordered some and they use them around the facility of course they want them on a particular number and it's pretty hard to order them on a particular number uh, from the factory so unfortunately we can't get it from the factory we actually have to rekey them so it co does cost a little bit extra um, you can order these on our website and if you too want more on a particular number you can actually select that and then we'll key them up and I'll show you what we're actually doing here so originally the lock comes with two keys here you put it in, you turn it, it works, no big deal. But what we need to be doing is changing it to this key here, which I've already done this one here. And you turn it, and it works. But not only that, we need the master key to work as well. So that one works there as well. So that's our master key, we'll get that out of the way. So we've been given a code, and uh, we, need, we go to our code chart, which looks pretty much like this and we go over all the codes. We find the code that the customer wants their key to be and we find the code that it is at the moment. The code that it is at the moment is written on the front here and it's 180. You probably can't see it but it's 180. So from there what we can do is we can pretty much look at the what's built inside the lock. So when it's set to 180 we've got a 3, a 1, a 2 and a 3 and a 3 but we want it to be uh, code 100 so it'll be 21 two three two so to start off the process of course we uh, cut our key and we have our master key so that way after we're keyed up we can check it uh, but just looking over the numbers here we can quite easily say that um, there's some of these numbers here which we really won't have to change like the one the two and the three are constant here as well so we're quite lucky in this scenario because really we've only got to do the first and the last cuts and we've got to do the same same um, same difference we've got to move it one cut up one cut up keep in mind we have to also keep the master key working so I'll do you a quick uh, drawing on how these work hopefully I'll do a better drawing than last time okay so you have your cam lock looks like this this is where you put your key into um, and you have your discs in there now the way the keys work is the key is kind of shaped like like that if you can see there so the profile of that key if you can see it it's not really in focus so we've got two grooves on one side so when it goes in so on the common customers key which we call a change key which they get with the lock it works on this side here when you use the master key it's actually the reverse so it actually works on the opposite side so the profiling of the key changes from one to the other if you can see that there I'll see if I can focus that in that looks pretty good okay so you can see the groove on this side yeah see the groove on that side and on this side we have a groove as well there we go so basically it works on the opposite groove my camera works not that good I'll just re so the way the discs work, and uh, there's one here, and it's going to take me too much to zoom in, so I'm just going to draw you a quick picture of one. The way the discs work is that they've got a little step in here. And they've got a spring on this side to push the disc this way. So when your key goes sliding into this, it'll actually catch on this notch right here, in this valley right here and that will make the, the shear line and allow the lock to turn and I'll, I'll show that, I'll demonstrate that when we re-key one. So this would be the change key here and this would be the master key side here. So there's actually two different sizes in this one disc. So this would be like a, a 2-1 disc so that we can achieve one on the change key side and a two on the master key side. So that is how you master key um, these cam locks. So we've already done that one, we might as well just do this one from scratch. Different locks work different ways, I'm talking, uh, this is just your standard, uh, standard of the line sort of cam lock. Very, very common, um, used on so many things. The sort of stuff that um, you'd normally get your apprentice to, um, to do. Now I'm just looking, ah oh, there it is there. This little part right here, what that does is 
there's a little notch right about here and when I place that in I can place it on the left or the right side it's like a, a quarter of a moon it's not much it didn't go in that time so if I can get in there without dropping it okay now it's actually placed in there I know it's pretty hard to see so it's placed in there between about there and there now it's not placed in there get back in there get back in there okay so when that's actually been installed the notching on this cylinder here it has a, a section here and then as you rotate it around it's been taken out here so when I put that back in there I just rotate it until it drops in now it's flush at the front and as I can turn it I can turn it a quarter of a turn it's as far as I can turn it now if I drop that little bit of metal which I just did there it is there if I drop that I can get a 180 turn so depending on what your customers need, they might need an actual 180 uh, turn to get their tail out of the way, you don't know. But on standard it comes with the 90 degree part, so if you're finding that you need to turn your tail even further, this cam on the back, this tail, then you can remove this little this section right here. Now, the shear line is when all of these parts are all together, it allows the cylinder to turn in its housing freely when they're not together such as now they stick out and when you put in the housing it won't turn so what we need to do now is actually change it to the master key and the new change key and because we went over the code we know that we're talking about the first and the last and you can see that the first and the last right here in this example are up by one cut right here and right here you not much very hard to see but that's where the problem is so I'm just going to pop them out. There is special tools for popping out these um, things as well. I just use a little tiny flat blade, just work it on the side, just lift it up. The, the actual tool itself, I did have one, I did a review on it, but they kept bending and I wasn't really happy with it, so I never posted it. Alright, so discs. Um, this is my old disc kit here. I've had it for a long time, cost me 160 bucks or something, overpaid for that, but I'm still using it, you know, 10 to 15 years later, so I guess you could say it was good and I've got my money out of it. Now the actual parts we need to achieve this, um, we'll go back to our numbers here, so we want, instead of it being a 3, we want it to be a 2, and then on the master key side we want it to be a 1, so we want it to be a 2 slash 1, 2 slash 1 at the front. I can't give you all of the code for the master key because uh, master key, I know a lot of, everyone has it, but uh, we don't sell master keys and we don't, um, we don't give the codes out either, just for security reasons. I know it's only a very low security cam lock, but as a professional locksmith in Australia, the rule is we don't. So I have to do everything very ethical, which is which is good. It's good for everyone. Text everyone. Somebody was actually selling the must keys for these on eBay and Gumtree and if, if you do see that I urge you to flag it because people get these type of must keys for these type of locks they go around knocking off your mail and breaking into things they really shouldn't. So yeah, if you do see them on eBay, report them. So now I've swapped the first and the last and as you can see the first, the middle three are actually aligned so we, we had no troubles there the first and the last so that uh, that works with the change key let's try it now with the master key and then we have the master key the master key is looking good as well so now we're just going to pop it all back together I mean most people on this who watch this channel know exactly what the master key is I know what most of the master keys are so you don't need me to tell you to move that so we put our tail on the back here. As you can see, it is actually a square and it's got like a star on the back. So you can put it in multiple positions and you put it whichever way, it really doesn't matter because it's only a flat piece of metal. So I'm putting it together. You've got a uh, cam washer, which is just like a piece of spring. And then you put your screw through the back, something like that, as you can see. And then you just give it a tighten. Then we test it, put our key in, rotates, so we're happy for the change key and we're happy for the master key. Old keys won't work.
Okay, so that's rekeying uh, cam locks. Not the most exciting, but uh, since I've got a whole bag of them to do, I thought I might as well run through what uh, what we're doing. Also, if you do want to order these uh, keys for mailboxes and cupboards and things that you've lost, and it looks like this exact lock where it's got the three-digit number on the front, you can. Uh, we have all the codes here, as you can see. We put them on computer, we zap it up, then it cuts this key like this, computerized, we send it out to you, and it's all there. If you do wish to purchase cam locks, here in our lock shop too and if you've got like uh, a few more cupboards um, or you've got cupboards somewhere that they're not all the same number and you want to order the same locks you can just uh, order some of these put the code in which you want it to be uh, let's say you've got uh, 005 on three doors and you've got 029 on another two doors just order another couple of locks so that they're all the same number and then um, install them and that way you've got everything key to like. A lot more convenient when you've got multiple cupboards having them all in the same key. Okay, thanks for watching.